Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. If you do not already know me, my name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to my channel. So I don't know about anybody else, but I'm currently on a no buy, which if you don't already know means I'm not supposed to be buying any more plants at the moment because it's kind of off season. The good stuff doesn't really come yet till summer and I guess I should just take care of the plants that I own. That said, there is nothing wrong with preparing to buy stuff in the summer. I have also mentioned before on this channel, I feel like my house is getting full of plants, so I would like to fill up the rest of my remaining space with nothing but, I guess, pretty much rare plants or uncommon plants. So I thought my last video on, well, it wasn't my last video, but the video I did on my uh, rare plant wish list kind of went down a tree and I thought, okay, I read everybody's comments and everyone was saying, oh my God, there's so many new plants here that I didn't even know existed. And I thought, okay, what if I did a video on like a different group of plants each video, possibly make it a series, I don't know, it depends how interested everybody is. Going from uncommon to rare to extremely rare to just ridiculously rare, just in case you're kind of on the hunt for something a little bit different and you just don't know what's out there. Maybe you're just more curious about a certain uh, genus of plant, who knows? So with that said, you have already seen the title of this video and you know that I'm probably going to start with philodendron. The thing about what we consider rare is, this is very subjective. Now I tried to look and find a definitive list of, you know, what was considered common, what was considered rare, but that's actually extremely difficult because whether something is rare or not depends on whether it's available in your country and natively growing, whether, you know, it might be available somewhere else in the world, but you can't get it in your country. It could be like so many things depend on this. It's also off season at the moment, so I don't actually know necessarily what is rarer than others. As I started trying to do this many different ways, I actually started to look, oh, can I like, can I buy this plant right now online? Is that something I can do? Most of them, because it's off season, no, I can't. But then I thought, oh, I know, I'll check Instagram tag. But that doesn't really account for the one guy that's tagging his, you know, favorite one rare philodendron 70 million times in a year. So then I thought, okay, I can't do tags. So I'm just gonna have to look on YouTube and just kind of get a broad sense, super broad sense of what is rare and what is not. So my aim today is to basically show you kind of what I did in my uh, rare plant wish list, where I show you an image of the plant, obviously the name of the plant, and then maybe a couple of things about it. And we'll just generally run through because honestly, I have my tablet in front of me here with the list on it and at least 20 plants, at least 20 plants on here. So with the plants on this list, I have the following categories. I have uncommon, rare, very rare, extremely rare, and holy. So I'm gonna go through these plants uh, section by section, not necessarily in any order within a section, if that makes sense. Anything in the uncommon category, one could be more common than another, but it's not ranked. And if there is a variegated version that I know of, I will obviously show you that as well. But please note that a variegated version of any plant ever is going to be more rare. So just bear that in mind, if you like a plant and you're like, oh, I like the variegated version, that's going to be more rare than whatever it is. So we'll start things off with uncommon. The first uncommon plant I have on the list for philodendron is the philodendron prince of orange. There isn't a variegated version of this because the whole point is that it's orange. It looks to be that it grows reasonably compact. I have seen this kicking about on people's YouTubes and things like that. It, as I say, it's uncommon, it's not super rare. It's quite interesting, I like it. It's got it looks like it has red stems. It's not something I would go for, but it is very pretty. Next on my list, I have the Philodendron Narrow Ring of Fire. This looks quite cool, actually. It's got kind of like spiky lance-shaped leaves. It looks to me that the variegation can run from kind of a speckling to like a patch. Um, it looks very, very beautiful. I guess it does grow in some sort of ring, hence the name. This does seem to be quite sought after on the internet. I haven't really seen it on YouTube, but I haven't seen everybody's, you know, plant videos ever on YouTube. So it could be readily, readily available. I don't know. As I said, this is also in the uncommon category, so. Next on the list is the Philodendron Black Cardinal. Now this looks super black, so if you like dark foliage, this is definitely one for you. It reminds me of a certain type of Ficus Elastica. I don't know if it's, is it the burgundy one? There's, there's like a really dark Ficus Elastica. I don't know which type it is. Feel free to comment below. So if you like that, then this Philodendron could be for you if you want to break into Philodendron. There isn't a variegated version of this. It's a Black Cardinal. I have written here that you could check out the Cardinal Splash or the Cardinal Twist, and that does have some different colors among it. Next on my uncommon list, I have the Philodendron Burl Marks. This is, this is quite nice actually. It's got ripples in it, almost arrow shaped, I would say, with some kind of crinkling in there. I think this one reminds me, the way it grows reminds me of a Syngonium. So if you like Syngonium, then this one could be for you. This does have a variegated version, but I have seen on the internet, and I don't know if this is photo editing or there are different types or what have you, but I have seen variegated 
fill marks on the internet and some of them have white variegation in images and some of them have like more of a yellowy gold cream variegation so i don't know what's going on there i don't know if there's different you know variegated colors of these plants I'm not sure, you might need to do your homework on that. The next plant I have on my list, I put this on my list in case you're a fan of either the Hartley philodendron or you really, really like Monstera, but you like them when they're in their juvenile state. So the, the leaves are heart-shaped, but they're very like chubby little hearts. There's no fenestrations or anything like that. This kind of, kind of reminds me of that. This is the philodendron rugosum. Next up, the rare category. And starting off the rare category, we have the Philodendron Pink Princess. As uh, most of you probably already know what this is, hopefully sometime soon I will be featuring a giveaway with possibly this plant in it. Obviously there is not a very good version of this because the variegation is very, very pink. If pink is not quite your thing, then we have the Philodendron White Knight. Again, a lot of you may have heard of this. This is similar to the Pink Princess. Uh, the leaves are a little bit more round, I would actually say, and the variegation more resembles you know the variegation on a monstera deliciosa for example so it can be patched or it, if there's a little bit of speckling it can be patched or it can just go full-blown white but the variegation on a white knight is like brilliant white so that's really really pretty to be honest i quite like that one moving on from the white knight there is another plant that i didn't know existed and it is very similar to the white knight it is called the philodendron white wizard i'm really surprised that this is a thing because i thought it was just another name for the white knight but it's not the white wizard is don't get me wrong it is very similar to the uh, white knight from the image i'm looking at now it appears that the variegation is a little bit more blocky i can't confirm that but the main difference i think you can tell by is the stems. The stems on the white knight are somewhat pinky and the stems on the white wizard are more green. Nothing wrong with a bit of green, quite classic. The next one in the rare category is for sure going on my wish list. I saw this when I was doing the research for this video and I've I've already fallen in love with it to be honest. Uh, I Again, I think this is something that a few of you may know about, a few of you may not, and that is the Florida Ghost. The leaf shape is very, very interesting. I can't really describe it. Obviously, you can see an image on the screen right now. Very, very beautiful. The variegation on this seems to range from almost like integrated streaks into the leaf to like brilliant white. So even the leaves with the integrated streaks can be a little bit more like almost like a frosted green in appearance. I think this is absolutely stunning and it's it's going on my wish list. I'm not gonna lie. If the white is not quite your thing and you prefer your variegation to be a little bit more golden toned, for example, uh, there is something very, very similar. I think the leaf shapes look not identical, but very similar. And that is the Florida Beauty. Again, variegation can range from speckled to patchy to probably all one leaf. Again, yeah, if you you don't like your white variegation so much. Some people don't. Some people prefer more of a golden yellow variegation. This is definitely the one for you if you like the shape of the Florida Ghost sleeves but you don't want the white. And if you want something kind of between the two, so a leaf a little bit more intricate than the uh, Florida Ghost and not really yellow variegation, but not really white variegation. Like you want something a little bit more in the middle. This is the Philodendron Magic Mask. Um, it took me a while of glancing at both the Florida Beauty and the Magic Mask to be able to tell that the leaves are actually a different shape, but that's a very, very beautiful one as well. Of course, if you know of any similar to this, please comment below and recommend them to people if anybody's interested. Interested. I'd be interested to know how rare you think the Florida Ghost is because I really kind of want one. Next on the rare category is the Philodendron Painted Lady. This looks to be a kind of really elongated heart-shaped leaf. A little bit similar to the Burl Marks, but this one is like very, very yellow and speckled. But it's, it's like neon yellow, this one. So if you really like that kind of thing, this one could definitely be for you. Now we're into some slightly larger Philodendron. It has to be said, these are the ones, these are the types of Philodendron that but definitely my favorite. So next up, we have the Philodendron Mame. Philodendron Mame. Now this one, if I had room for this, it would go on my wish list, but there are other things I think I'm probably gonna pick over this one. It is a massive heart-shaped Philodendron. They have ridges in the leaves, so they do look quite three-dimensional. They have like a silver variegation that reminds me an awful, awful lot of a satin pothos or a silver and pothos. They look very similar. I don't know if that variegation kind of shows with either more light or just the age of the leaf. I'm not sure, I haven't looked that far into it. The photograph I'm looking at here makes it look very compact actually and I'm sure it isn't. Again, another really big, big heart-shaped leaf is the Philodendron Pastazanum. This is a lot more rounder in shape. It's very, very cute little heart. It has a lot of ridges on the leaf. It is glossy. The next one is the one that is on my wish list that I did mention in my rare 
Plant Wish List video, and that is the Philodendron Gloriosum. If you like your velvet, this is one for you, because they're really, really big, beautiful velvet hearts. The, uh, the veins are much, much lighter in colour, though they are very petite, but if you like anything hearty and velvety, but you want something larger, this could definitely be one for you. Moving on to the very rare category, and we have, yes, more really big heart-shaped plants. This next one is the Philodendron Luxurians Choco. It is extremely similar, in my opinion, to the, uh, the Gloriosum, only the veining definitely looks much wider to me. So I, I would say it packs a little bit more punch, but it's still velvety, so it's kind of just like Gloriosum, but a step up from that. However, if you really, really think, I love the velvetiness, I love the veins, but I need I need a little bit more of that. I want it to look a little bit more fantasy plant, a little bit more dragony, then you could try the Philodendron Ver 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 Philodendron Verucosum. I'm sorry, if it wasn't obvious before this video, I'm obviously gonna butcher all the names. This one is still velvety, but as you can see, the veins on the leaves, like this is more, it looks closer to an anthurium, to be honest. This is really, really full on yellow veining bad boy leaves but perhaps you're thinking I love the hearts but I've seen some of these philodendron out there they're a little bit you know longer a bit more length than girth if you know what I'm saying so you could try the philodendron melanochrysum melanochrysum we're gonna go with melanochrysum again I'm sorry this may have a more common name I'm not really sure it's kind of like Gloriosum, but with a darker leaf. The thing about these plants, I've read that when they're in like a juvenile state, so they're just teenagers or whatever, the, the shape of the leaves is much shorter, and I think they get longer with age, so that's quite interesting to me, to be honest. So if you love the heart-shaped leaves, you love the ridges, but you don't necessarily want velvet, like that's not for you, then you could try the Philodendron Plowmany. I think it's called Plowmany. So it's very, oh, this is beautiful. It's got a lot of dimension in the leaf. That's the best way I can describe it. It looks very, very 3D. The image I'm looking at now shows like a really beautiful lime green on the outside and then it kind of fades into a dark green. You can see all the shadowing on the veins. Oh, it's really beautiful and it's really, really glossy. So it's not um, your more velvety philodendron if you don't want that kind of thing. Because some people don't. Some people that aren't really bothered about velvet. Moving away from the big hearts is the philodendron mottled whipple way. Now I couldn't find much on this plant. Obviously we're going up the ranks of rare. Um, it appears to be, to be honest with you, it's kind of like a long, a long leafed kind of philodendron. Not like a long, long, not like, you know, two philodendrons ago. Most of the leaf is white and the speckles are green. So it's kind of like variegated in the opposite way to what you'd expect. Like the green part seems to be the more uncommon part. Next on the very rare category is the Philodendron Burl Burlmark's Fantasy. This one reminds me of a Monstera and I took a little while to Google a Monstera because I couldn't actually think of what it was because I'm not, I don't know that much about Monstera. But it reminds me of the Monstera Siltepecana. I will put a picture up now of the Monstera Siltepecana. Um, it does look similar, I think it's more subtle than that, to be honest, but it's really, really pretty. It does seem to have really elegant, kind of long, almost heart-shaped leaves, but it's more of like a really stretched out kind of teardrop shape. It's very, very pretty, to be honest. Next, in the very rare category, the last one in the very rare category, we have the Philodendron Thai Sunrise, also known as the Thai Gold. This reminds me of some, I don't know, some other Philodendron crossed with like a Philodendron Brazil. By that I mean the colours of the variegation. I can see some green, some yellow, and then it'll go straight into some cream. It's very, very beautiful. So if you like the Philodendron Brazil, then this might actually be one for you. Moving on to the extremely rare category, we have the Philodendron Linami. Lin Linami? Linami? I'm not sure. Again, I apologise for butchering the names. So this doesn't, to be honest, I'm just gonna tell you what I think for a second. This doesn't actually look that rare to me, but apparently it really, really is. Um, there is something special about this plant though, and that is when the leaves uh, come through, they will start out being like a bright, bright red, and as they mature, they'll actually go to green. So I guess that's pretty, pretty nice. I personally wouldn't want this one in my collection. I can't, I'm not trying to be a plant snob here, but I can't really see anything, you know, Oh my god, amazing about it. It's just, it doesn't really do it for me, but it might do it for one of you guys. Let me know what you think. Next on the extremely rare list, uh, I have the Philodendron X Snowdrift. Now, I could only find one picture of this on the internet, I think. Uh, so if you're just staring at one picture right now, it's very likely to be the picture that I'm looking at. And it's similar to the, the mottled white, what was it? 
mottled whipple way. It's very similar to that in appearance. Uh, the leaves to me actually remind me of a couple of different types of alocasia. It appears to have a red stem on it and some speckling of pink actually towards the center of the leaf. Some speckling of green variegation as well. Is it variegation when it's green? But as I say, I can only find one image of this on Google and I think NSC Tropicals has it. So I couldn't not include a really, really long uh, leafed philodendron in this list because they're very, very beautiful. And I've decided to include the philodendron Patriciae. This is, oh my God, it's wonderful. It has like little ridges down the leaves, the main vein running all the way up the leaf. I don't know what it's called, sorry. It's like a, it's almost like a lime green slash yellow. Again, I don't know if that's just the image that I have in front of me, but it is very, very beautiful. I think the leaves can easily be like three feet long. Like these are really big, big philodendron. These philodendron do not mess about. And that concludes our extremely rare section. The last section I have on my list, it has but one plant in it and it is the holy section. If that is not already a hint as to what plant it is, this is considered the holy grail of philodendron, I am told. Um, I didn't know about this till, I don't know, a few hours ago, but it is called the philodendron spiritus sancti. I know, there aren't many of these in the world. Like this is this is serious, can I just level with you for a second? There is apparently only about five, five or six of these known like in the wild at the moment. And beyond that, it's just, you know, rare plant collectors that have them. And even then they are very, very few and far between. If you're really interested, uh, NSA Tropicals are selling one of these. They have one in stock and they are selling this plant for $1,450. That's a lot, but you know what? Like, for something that rare, of course, yeah. Let me really quickly get this up on NSC Tropicals, and I just, I just want to read you the blurb about that they have about the plant, because I thought it was quite interesting. Usually the plants we have available are quite large and have leaves about 18 to 20 inches long. That's quite long. We have one large plant available right now, but please let us know if you'd like to be adding to the waiting list. If you'd like this plant sent by FedEx or any special way, please let us know so we can get you a shipping quote. Can you imagine the shipping on that bad boy? Because that's gotta cost a bit. That's like, if I was her, I'd be like, hell no, pick up only, like that's, that is eye-watering, can you imagine? So I'm pretty sure that concludes our rare list of philodendron. I am so sorry that I had to really, really kind of blast through these, but there is a lot and I wanted to give you a really quick overview. I don't expect you to know everything about the plants just from my video. I expect you, if you like one, you know, pause it, go look it up, see if you can find it anywhere, if you're curious. Please do let me know in the comments which ones are actually like so common in your area, which ones are super rare. Do you have your eye on any? For me personally from that list, Obviously, they were all very, very beautiful. The Gloriosum was on my list anyway. But that Florida ghost, I that's 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 gonna happen. I'm gonna locate that. That's beautiful. I really, really enjoyed making this video. It was actually very, very insightful for me to go and look some of these up. I feel like I know a little bit more about philodendron now. If there is any other type of plant you would like me to do, like for example, Calathea, Monstera, Caladium, Peperomia, anything like that, please do comment below and I would gladly 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 make another one of these videos so without further ado i've probably kept you way too long i've tried to keep this video as short as possible i really really hope it's not too much longer than 15 minutes because i really don't want to just keep you guys sitting forever thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye